Andy Davis with Trig Avionics. You've rolled out a new product. You've got something to talk about about an existing product here at AEA. Let's start with the, the uh, transceiver with a little comm radio. Tell us what's new and, and why this is a great product. Yeah, we've introduced the TY91 radio, which is a two-part solution, so it has a little control head and a remote-mounted radio. The thing that's really special about it is that control head is truly tiny. It's two and a quarter inches across, less than two inches deep, pretty much including the connector, so it goes into the tiniest of space. Light sport aircraft is the target, but also it will go into some of the antiques, into sailplanes, into little flex-wing microlights, all kinds of airplanes that have very little space but do still need a VHF radio. What caused you to get into that particular market, into the very small niche market? We actually think that that's the direction that quite a lot of the market volume is going. I mean, it's straight economics, that the price of gas, people's disposable income has had a squeeze recently. And we have actually seen a great surge, of course, of these new light sport airplanes. They are kind of like miniaturized versions of larger GA aircraft. They have a lot of the same capability. They're fun to operate, but they are often a little space constrained, weight constrained. So, I mean, another feature of our products is that we try to keep the weight down. The radio, including the control head and everything, weighs less than a pound. And, you know, for these little guys, every pound helps. Now, you're talking about uh, a instrument that is geared toward the light sport market. It's also good for the certified market. So, what's the certification timeline on this radio? It's a fully certified radio. We expect to have US TSO certification in July. So um, we're, we're pretty much closed up on the process. It's just finishing off some work there. All right, well, the instrument you've got the paperwork back on now is the transponder, which is now 2020 ready. So tell us about that. That's correct. We've been upgrading our transponder product line, and both our TT31 and our TT22 transponders were upgraded last year to the latest DO260B software standard, so we then put those in and we have C166B TSO certification on those products. Before you can install those products, you do need to have an STC in place, particularly in the certified market that we're going after with that. So we've had an STC program running with Peregrine Avionics out in Colorado, which just finished up basically last week with the flight test and everything, and so that's gone very well for us. It's actually been fairly smooth. We've been working quite closely with the FAA on that. They've been keeping an eye on what we've been doing because it's a test for them. We're one of the first people through this path and getting that feedback on how it went, how the ACO interpreted the documents, how it went with, uh, with Washington has been, uh, has been quite interesting. So what's new about the, um, about the transponder? Well, as I say, it includes this C166B certification, and that makes it an ADS-B out transmitter. So as well as being a conventional mode S transponder, it also sends what's called an extended squitter on 1090 megahertz. That contains your position, velocity, integrity information, other information about the aircraft and its flight, which is, of course, what the next-gen system's all about. That's what they're going to use for air traffic control in the future. So taxes, tag, title, destination, charge, dealer, prep, out the door. What is, what is the cost on these radios and the transponder? The list price on the VHF radio is $2,000. The list price on the transponder is just over $3,000. It's three one five zero. So it's really affordable in that light sport and GA market? That's the idea, yes. We are trying to make it affordable. There's still installation costs for the ADS-B solution. You still also have to have a certified GPS on board. But we're, we're certainly getting there to where it, it is uh, affordable, both in space and weight, but also in dollars. Andy Davis with Trig Avionics, thanks very much for talking with us on Aero TV. Thank you very much. Aero TV is brought to you by If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidyne, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidyne Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9, combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value.